try bearing with me guys, I have caught a cold so my voice may sound really weird in the next however many videos. I haven't had a cold in like uh, a year and a half, I think last time I had a cold was when that Migos album dropped, so uh, it has been a while and that cold lasted for like two weeks so I'm hoping this one isn't as bad but you know, my voice may be like this for uh, a long time. <laughs> Hollywood's Bleeding is the latest album from Post Malone. Post Malone's been one of those weird artists where he's just managed to be so controversial from the get-go without really doing anything that 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 just that, that warrants a controversy. I mean, sure, he has said a few things about hip-hop and today's hip-hop culture that people haven't got on board with and some people feel like he's just here to take bits and pieces from hip-hop culture while also not respecting it based on the things that he said but in terms of his music I just don't feel like <laughs> his music's been that bad to the point where people really really have like hated it and called it some of the worst they've ever heard don't get me wrong though he does have bad songs some very bad songs there are some very bad songs on Hollywood's Bleeding too uh, which I will get into, but I do want to start with the positives first because there are positives to bring out of this album, I think. For the most part, I think he has a good voice. I think um, generally across this album, he's singing well. Across most songs I think he's made, he does sing well. He has this kind of gruff tone to his voice that would really match some like mid-2000s rock songs and um, somehow he manages to make it work on these types of instrumentals. Who'd have thought a guy like this with a voice like this would make a song like Sunflower work? I just don't think it's something that I'd ever expect and yet it, it, it was a hit, it worked. Same with Circles too, I think Circles is a good track. I know a lot of people have come out and said they hate it, but I just don't hear what's so bad about it. I think the, I think the chorus is really bouncy, it's really wavy, it's got that summery vibe that I think really works. I don't have any issues with this track. I mean, sure, it does sound a bit like a Tame Impala leftover type beat, but hey, he can make it work, he can make it work, I don't care what it sounds like. And speaking of that rock type of style that's in his voice just naturally, he does have an Ozzy Osbourne feature on here that also somehow works. Again, I just think it's impressive that a song like this can make this album and feel like it's just natural. It does make me feel like he is missing the mark a little bit sometimes though because he can make songs like this work so I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't have an issue if he made a whole album sounding like this. But that's honestly kind of where the positives end for me with this one. Um, aside from the, the, the positives I brought up, he is singing really well for the most part across most tracks. There are hooks that are really sticky and catchy. Not as catchy or sticky as his last album. I think his last album, he nailed a lot of those tracks really well in comparison to here, where some of the tracks just kind of fall flat. Wow is an example of that for me. I just feel like something's missing on this track. I feel like it, 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 there's something not there or not matching up well enough to make the song work for me. But the biggest issue is his lyrics. They cannot be ignored throughout this album. There are some awful lyrics here. There are so many topics he's singing about that he's done so many times before. That's just getting really boring at this point. The track Allergic not only sounds atrocious, this is absolutely awful. Genuinely one of the worst songs I think I've heard all year. Who the fuck invited Portugal the man into the studio for this one? What the hell is this? But lyrically, it is just really bad and really, really cliche. That's the issue with Post. He can sing a hook really well, but while doing that, he hits every cliche <laughs> in his lyrics. Even the song I praise, Circles, is just so banal lyrically. Like, Jesus Christ, it's just such a nothing of a song in terms of the lyrics. The track Enemies is written like a teenager, honestly. Jesus Christ, it sounds like a diary entry of a teenager on the on the, on a bad day of high school who's just like, oh, I used to have friends, man, but now they're enemies to me. They're dead to me. The baby's feature on this track is fine, I guess. Um, it, it is just a, a baby feature at this point. He does kind of <laughs> do very similar things on many of, of his features, which isn't too bad. He sounds good, but I just kind of want a bit more from him now. He touches on fame and, you know, his richness and his lifestyle on a few tracks here as well. But he's just not touching on it in a particularly interesting way. Like, uh, he, 
talking about how you've got so many hits on the wall, you, you're staring at them while you're taking a shit, is just like the worst way you could talk about this really, isn't it? I just think the way he talks about his emotions while pairing it up with how like, you know, successful he is, he does this quite a lot too. Like, it just kind of diminishes the emotions. I think it kind of just counteracts like the feelings that you're supposed to be listening to because you just can't really focus on one thing without him bringing up something else and I just feel it harms his songs quite quite negatively. Another thing as well that I don't like about Post is the way he sings about girls sometimes. Um, it just sounds really icky and you don't feel any sympathy towards him because he just sounds like he doesn't know how to talk to a girl. <laughs> I know you could never be my bitch, shit could never be like this, Really, dude, that's that's what you're gonna say. I mean, come on, man, that's just not flattering at all. And I know you find this in hip hop and rap music uh, quite quite often, and sometimes it can ruin it, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it can be funny and it can fit the, the tone of the music really well. But Post himself has said plenty of times that he's not a rapper, so to me, it just feels like he's picking and choosing elements from hip hop to kind of make himself appear cool. There are a few rap features on this album though, with uh, Meek Mill. Uh, Little Baby, Future, um, they, they're all fine I guess, they don't really add anything to the tracks, in fact the tracks themselves don't sound particularly good, so their features don't really add anything worthwhile to them. On the track with Future we have a Halsey feature right at the end, which just drags the song's length completely out to an unnecessary length, because the song's already pretty dull, and then she comes in at the end and it just feels like the song should have stopped by now. But I think the point is is to, uh, is to have the female's perspective on the relationship because Post is singing about relationship in this track. And I suppose it's pretty cool to do that sometimes where you get two sides of the story. But if the song is not sounding good, then I'd rather it not be there. <laughs> we do have a scissor feature on here as well, which I personally just feel like just is so out of place. Her singing isn't that good on this track either. She's usually a really, really powerhouse of a vocalist. And yet on this track, she's not impressing me at all. The instrumental to me is so damn hollow and post singing just doesn't match at all. He's really over singing here, in fact to the point where he's just belting out his voice and it just sounds kind of annoying and something about the mixing of everything with his vocals being so upfront just ruins the song completely. I think this is a really bad track. A track like Internet for me is awful too. I think the overly dramatic instrumental here uh, just is embarrassing. I just think this track is just so sappy and over the top for the sake of it. When you pair it with the content of the song too, which is about how the internet can be really bad and, you know, toxic, which it can be, but he, again, his lyrics are just so weak that it really diminishes the emotions of what he's trying to go for. The line as well, where he's like, fuck the internet and you can quote that. It feels like such like a, like a mic drop moment. Like, yeah, I said that dude, you can quote it. I said, fuck the internet and you can quote it. Yeah. So yeah, generally across the board, this album for me is pretty bad, whether it's in the sound of the songs or the way he's writing his lyrics. Trust me, if I wasn't like feeling as ill as I am, I would have absolutely got on my book of bad lyrics out because there are so many bad lyrics across this album and I just didn't get it out this time for this video because I felt that I wouldn't have been able to be as funny with the way I read out the lyrics as I usually am because of the way my voice sounds right now. But the album really does contain lyrics such as me and Kurt feel the same, too much pleasure is pain. Come on, man, come on. I'm not shaming him for talking about his feelings. I'm not doing that at all. I just think there are more interesting ways to touch on these topics. And I believe Post has a long way to go to kind of hone it all in and make these songs lyrically impressive while also being musically impressive. Because he can do the music well. Not really across this album. I don't think it's pretty poor for the most part, but he can and he has. That's the thing, he has made good songs. There just aren't many here, unfortunately. It's certainly not the worst thing I've heard all year, but it is pretty bad, so I'm gonna go 4.5 out of 10. Um, it's a bit of a shame, I actually thought his last album had some of his best songs to date. I don't think the album was great or anything, 
but I do think there were some really impressive moments across it and this album feels like it's lacking in that area. I pretty much only took away about three songs across this album and uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's not a good rate really. So yeah, pretty bad for me overall. Let me know what you think of this album, if you think it's as bad as I think it is or if you think it's better than that. Let me know. Thank you for watching my review. Have a good day. Comment, let me know, subscribe, consider uh, supporting my Patreon, that'd be great too. And have a good day. Bye.